Hi, I'm Joe Popiel with IR Engraving. Today we're going to show you how to make a silicone cast. Come with me. Ensure that the surface is clean and dry with no residue from the cleaning agent or solvent used. Have the following ready to go as the process moves quickly. Two to three ounces of silicone, the hardener, also known as catalyst, a mixing stick, a tongue depressor works well. A piece of paper to back the silicone upon which the identifying information can be written. Pour a dime sized or less amount of hardener and mix thoroughly while wiping all sides of the cup and the mixing stick itself. It's better to use a little less than too much hardener. Work fast as working time is only two to three minutes. Pour a small amount on the surface and quickly rub into the pattern using a gloved finger. The goal is to eliminate air bubbles. Pour the remainder of the silicone onto the surface and spread evenly. Place the piece of paper on the silicone and smooth over the surface, maintaining a measure of overall thickness. A block of wood or similar is helpful. Secure with a piece of tape on the paper and allow to dry for five to ten minutes or more, depending on how much hardener was used. Gauge the level of cure by checking the remaining silicone in the mixing cup. When fully cured, slowly peel the silicone from the surface. The paper may at times partially or fully release from the silicone. Paper towel may also be used as a backer as it adheres very well to the silicone. It's good at practice to label machine direction, also known as a round roll on the silicone, along with other identifying information on the paper itself away from the silicone. If any silicone remains on the surface, it's easily removed by hand or with a nylon scrub brush. If any uncured silicone is on the surface, naphtha, also known as lighter fluid, removes it very well. The process is now complete.